but yeah, yeah, you two are going to be in competition, in an axe throwing competition, with Bully Chesterton in the middle of a combat. Uh, what a strange <laughs> thing to have said. Okay, cool. Can you all roll initiative, please? Uh, except you, Shinies, you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> playing out of battle. Classic natural one there for Bully Chesterton. <laughs> That's honestly pretty nice because I got me a tactic. Okay. I got a sec. So it's going to be Bella first, then it is going to <coughs> be. Yep, okay, so then it's going to be the mime. And then last, Bully Chesterton! Okay, Bella, you're first. You're I mean, invisible. There's a big red the eye looking at you. Mess. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, unless he can interact with the ethereal realm, I am, as far as he can tell, not there. Yes. Wait, yes, he can see me still? Uh, make a perception check. Uh, 18. He does appear to be looking straight at you. This is problematic. <laughs> Wait till you see his challenge riding after you. Almost <laughs> died to challenge quarter zombie. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. so I have, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Would putting on the ring count as my item interaction, or would that be a full action? That's uh, a full action. Well, that's a shame. I'm bolting it out, out the bar. Okay, so you make it towards the door and... No. Oh. No, actually, it's etherealness. I'm bolting it up the bar. <laughs> I can move in any direction if it's, but if it's not like on the ground, it's a half movement. Oh, very nice. I thought that I'm was. I'm bolting up the bar. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can move directly up or down, including into occupied spaces. So long as okay. But, but but it has to be at half uh, movement. What's your movement speed? I'm just working uh, out where where you'll be yeah. able to make it, basically. Uh, my movement speed is 30. Okay, you're in Shiny's room. Uh, you're com this time better at that. completely invisible. So, <laughs> well, completely uninteractable uh, with Shiny. So, Shiny's, you don't know this, but Bella, you have um, you have good line of sight of Shiny's, who's cuddling a helmet uh, <laughs> and snoring semi-adorably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that's great. No, that's a great move. Okay, the door opens and two more cloaked figures come in. Google, fuck off. I swear, every time I say okay. Um, yeah, so the door opens and two more cloaked figures come in. Bully looks at one of them and goes, Chaz, get that, uh, get that mime for me. And Chaz uh, goes towards you, I'm afraid, and is going to try and slam into you. Ha! No, that's a four. That doesn't hit. Okay. The second one, um, Bully shouts, She's gone upstairs, Billy. Go and get her. And, uh, oh, one, one, one thing to tell them part, by the way, Chaz has a little zombie chihuahua on his shoulder. Um, uh, Billy doesn't. Oh, it, so it died. It didn't become the hero of the revolution. <laughs> yeah, Pickles is dead. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's Pickles the Chihuahua on on Chaz's shoulder, and um, we go Joe to town. Billy is Billy's gonna run for Billy's gonna run for upstairs. What's their movement speed? It's shit all, I believe. Uh, so it's gonna take a while before they're up there with you. Yeah, twenty feet of movement. So it's gonna dash to get up there. It's probably outside the door right now because. 40 feet of movement in total with a dash, but it's not able to actually, you know, Billy's not able to act. Uh, and we go over to the mime. So Chaz is right in front of you and Bully is at the bar. First things first, I'm going to cast a healing word on myself. Good idea. Yeah. Yes. How does a verbal component work for a mime? Uh, there's a special... So, um, to, to explain that for everyone, 
There's a special subclass for bards, the College of Mimes, and one of the features of that is that you can cast any spell with a verbal component without making a sound, provided you have your hands free. So basically all verbal components are converted into somatic components. Okay, so... Um, would, uh, would uh, communicating with suggestion count as a reaction, or would it have to count as a spell? Suggestion would definitely be a spell. Uh, not suggestion, um... Message. message. Oh, message. Uh, message. It depends what you're trying to do. If you're trying to just talk to people, <clears throat> I will allow it because your particular unique circumstances, that's the only way for you. For you to... No, actually, no. Yeah, no, it, it takes an action. Because you've got your hands. You can you can still you can still communicate. That's that's the that's the mime way. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn to wait which uh, which of the two is attacking me again. So the one that's attacking you is Chaz, so that's the one with little pickles okay. to chow our on. So I'm going to turn to Chaz and pickles. And basically a sort of gesture. I'm just going to sort of point to um Billy and um Gesture with a sword just to remind him of how he actually originally died. Gesture to pickles and remind him of the consequences of that. <laughs> and, and just a very Gaelic shrug. Okay. Very nice. Um, I will not take a check for that because I will tell you it will be impossible to convince those two. Yeah. Based, based, just based on, yes. on what they are. Um, but I like the attempt. <laughs> uh, any movement at all? You are right in front, within engagement. Hey, am I still under the table? Yes. Hey. And the table is back against the window. That's a good point. Yeah, I'm going to try and jump out the window. Okay, so you're under the oh. table, you're going to sort of climb up round and try and jump out. You will take an attack of opportunity, because they are within yeah. engagement range. Uh, but it's alright, they're not very good at attacking. Apart from that time, that's a 20. Not a natural 20, but it's a 20. <clears throat> I was about to say, <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, if, if, if that was another 20, I'd be keeping these dice. Uh, okay, that's going to be three points of bludgeoning damage. And then... Make me... Do I need an athletics check for you to go out a window? No, you're in a tavern. Breaking those windows is pretty much what they're for. Um, in fact, actually, as you they, smash that window, exist. one of the dwarves at the other uh, at the other end uh, grabs another dwarf and throws them out of the window too. And it's just sorry, sorry, force a habit, force a habit. It's a mafia. It's a mafia tavern. They probably have spare windows right now, just put straight there. <laughs> yeah, just straight back in. The windows were built. It's probably sugar finish, glass. Right? Mm. And then another one gestures up at the bar. And go, hey, 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 sweetheart, you got any more of that gabagool? And, uh, yeah, they, they've not noticed that there appears to be two zombies, a zombie chihuahua, and whatever bully Chesterton is in, in the bar. Um, they just think this is a standard fight because that's what happens uh, in, in Mafia land. That's, that's how Mafia works. A classic meme for you there. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're out the window, and I'm going to say that used probably half your movement, that the whole thing. Um, but you've still got half your movement left, and you can cheese it up the street and leave them to their doom. Hey, um, is there any other way inside the um, building? or? Well, there is round, or... round back. Uh, so you can actually go around the back of the building. Um, and you know there's an entrance round back because you could presumably hear, you know, the rhythmic or a rhythmic thumping that was happening back there and cheering. So it's it, probably something like a beer garden or something to that effect. Now I'm going to run. I'm going to try running round back. Okay, you run round back and you stumble upon an axe throwing competition that's in full <coughs> swing. People are drinking heavily and the axes are going wildly off off uh, off target at this point. Um, the champion appears to be a uh, scarred pirate with two eye patches on. You don't know how she does it, but she seems to be winning. And, uh, yeah, so that's your movement, and after that, it's Bully's go! Bully Chesterton is going up the stairs, is what you hear, as, uh, as Bully Chesterton is going up the stairs. Um, Bully Chesterton knows exactly where you are. Bully Chesterton will find you. You can't hide from Bully Chesterton. And, yeah, he's coming up the stairs. He's got a bit more movement than, uh... 
than Chaz and Billy. So he's actually coming into the door. And, well, opening the door, not coming into it. Would, would Shinies have heard all of that coming up the stairs? Your passive perception was quite high, wasn't it? And you were a light sleeper. Yeah. I would, ar I would argue I would reckon so. that because it's fully Chesterton, there isn't a single person who didn't hear him. The entire town. <laughs> yep, that's a very good point. He has bellowed Mil that as Mil he comes up. Heard of all these Chesterton. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And roll me initiative, in actually. Case, I was going to say, I'll, I'll roll initiative and uh, nine. Nine. Okay, so that's going to put you. That's going to insert you in. Uh, that's going to insert you in. Actually, it's going to set you in after, after Bella, because uh, everyone rolled really badly. So, Shinies. Um, you will, of course, be surprised. Uh, I'll say for this round, but for next round, you'll be awake. Uh, yeah. Given bullies at the end of the round, that's actually pretty soon that you get to act, so that's mm. that's not too bad. Um, so the door, the door slams open, so you definitely have woken up now. Like, he's kicked it in, like, and he's like, Hey, it's Bully here! <laughs> Can I get a bully from everyone in the room? And he's looking bully. at you expectantly. <laughs> can you can bully. you communicate with sound through the ethereal plane? I can't quite remember. Uh, yes. As okay, I, so there's. I, it's basically I cannot interact with thing with anything that can't interact with the ethereal plane. But if they can, I can interact with them fully. Okay. Okay. So yeah, he can. He can definitely hear you. Um, and he's very happy that you done. He's, he beams at you and is like, "That's what I like to hear." <laughs> what about you, sleeping animal bird? Do you say bully too? I mean, the animal does now. What the plank? <laughs> <laughs> I am not too happy about your assertions, there, young animal bird creature, whatever you are. But my beef no, but is not with just, you. I was going to say, and just to take the piss. I will perfectly mimic bully. <laughs> so you go bully, bully. <laughs> and he's like bully. <laughs> he will continue this for several hours if you uh, if you let him. <laughs> That's how he shall be defeated. <laughs> uh, so long as you were bully back to him, he can't move. Yeah, legally. I'm going to say he's not able to move fast enough. Uh, to get to you without a dash, but he is now within engagement range. Uh, but he has no action left. So, Belladonna, your your go. You're in the ethereal plane. There is something right in front of you that appears to know exactly where you are. I'm going to pull up a gambit right here. I'm going to look at Bully and go, Bully! He goes, Bully! <laughs> and as he's doing that, as he's exclaiming that, I'm, I'm dipping down below. Okay. I'm, he is going I'm to using... give you an attack of opportunity, though. Damn. I was hoping I could distract him so he wouldn't. No, he uh, he has a feature called... Um, hang on, let me get it. It's, it's got a great name, which should, should probably give you the reasonable amount of fear that you should be feeling right now. He has a feature... <laughs> Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Here's a feature called Hunger for Revenge. Um, and so basically, he has one thing that he's going to do, and that is kill you. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. So, Chinese could just go back to sleep. Okay. Uh, Why yeah. I'm even worried. Oh, no, you're on the list too. Why is Shinies on the list? Shinies isn't. Oh, no, no, no. It's Shinies just, isn't just, on the just list. the mime and uh, Belladonna. So, uh, that is... Mime's only messing with a his A 17 to hit. That hit. Okay. And that's going to be... Nine points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, you know what? Instead of dealing damage, it gets a feature. If it's sworn vengeance against you, and it has, it's going to grapple you. So you're you're held in place. You can't move. You can so try to escape on your turn. It's just this this wraith of a zombie just hugging the air. Hugging the air, yeah, basically. It's like welcome to the warm and sensual embrace of Bully Chesterton. Okay, so I can't move then. Uh, you're grappled. That... You can't. You, so you can't move, but you can still attack and all that. Yeah, it's if you're pinned, you can't um, do anything. 
Okay, I have a question. Mm. If I'm grappled, can I drag the person who's grappling me along somewhere? Not normally, but I'll allow it with a strength check, yeah. <laughs> Has to be raw strength, no, not I, even I, athletics. I'm going to... I'm asking this because I want to cast jump on myself and throw both of us out the window. Okay! <laughs> That sounds fucking excellent, yeah. <laughs> I very much approve of this course of action. That sounds really, really good, sure, yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so uh, I will allow it with a strength check, and I'm going to contest that against bullies. Okay. Does bully beat a 22? <sighs> Hang on, let me see. I mean, He's got a hell of a modifier. Uh, no! <laughs> So I rolled a 13. He's got plus four to strength. That's a 17. So it would have been, it was a difficult thing to do. But. I mean, I have a, I have a plus three and rolled a 19, so. Uh, yeah, so you're, you're diving through the window. So um, I'm going to say the two of you will be taking a little bit. Actually, are you falling 10 feet? Uh, 15 feet, presumably. Yeah, 15 feet. So you're going to take 1d6 of uh bludgeoning damage when you land i might share that between the two actually tell you what give me a dexterity check let's see if you can land on him <laughs> i have an actually interesting question given the weird properties of the ethereal plane and given that gravity seemingly doesn't exist here would i take any falling damage Oh, that's a weird one. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. You don't take any falling damage. <laughs> that that's a very I, I, weird I, I, interaction of rules. I can see why Bully would, because he's still technically in the prime material, or in the material he, plane. Yeah, you know, he's in he's in the material plane. He's going to take some bludgeoning damage. Tell you what, I'll let you roll uh, roll the d6 <coughs> of bludgeoning damage. A d6? Mm-hmm. Uh, that is the... I rolled a 5, but I'm not sure if anything's added for that. Uh, not for bludgeon, uh, not for falling damage. Uh, so I'm going to put, yeah, some, some, some nice old bludgeoning damage. And Bully goes, um, oof, that has taken the wind out of Bully's sails. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm assuming that's pretty much all of your movement used. Um, yeah. but yeah, that's, that's a really good way to do it. Shiny, you've just seen some weird, weird shit. Okay, I'm going to run to the window. I'm going to point down, yeah, check the crow's nest, and do my movement again. And of course, because they can only see Bully, I'm only going to be able to aim this at Bully. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Because, uh, unless you could uh, interact with Prime Material Plane, literally nothing you do can touch me. Uh -oh, Shiny's, is, Shiny's is just pissed off. That reminds me, I need to roll off. to see if... Ooh, yeah, that's approaching. Okay, the red light is getting bigger, by the way. Um, okay, yes, yeah, so... <laughs> oh, wisdom save first. Wisdom and save <laughs> from Bully Chesterton. So the stat block has a plus three for wisdom, but I don't think that fits for Bully Chesterton. I'm going to say he's got a flat zero. Um, he still rolled a 19, though. <laughs> Eh. Oh, that's all of mine done. I'm not jumping out the window to follow. Fair enough. I mean, yeah. I mean, you've only just woken up. It's too early for this for this nonsense. Um, by the way, uh, you haven't had a long rest yet. <laughs> it's been two hours. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of get this. Although, if you wanted to I roll mean, a hit I, die, I, I'd let you because you've definitely had a short rest worth of time. I hit die for what damage? Oh yeah, good point. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, we've shiny done it. It's over to Chaz. Right, Chaz is sort of looking around going, Uh, where'd she go? Pickles? You see where hey. she went? Where they went? Pickles? Huh? And the dog is going to hop off and sniff around on the ground. <laughs> and then it's going to get a fight of a rat and that's not going to have helped at all. Okay, that's uh, Chaz's go. Billy is just at the doorway though and is going to run I realize that Nilk is still at the table yeah they're not interested in Nilks either at the moment but they might become interested in Nilks later uh yeah Billy's gonna come in uh into the bedroom he's gonna see shiny um unlike Bully 
is not so singular of mind and is going to go straight over straight over to shiny and give her the old the old slim slam <laughs> that's a natural one though it's a complete miss so billy runs in trips over the carpet falls down on the ground and is prone okay uh we're getting through this quick over to the mime mime you're you're heading around hey. to the garden party okay so um do they crash out of into the garden party or is it on another side of the building uh, they would have come out on the front and the garden party would be around the back. But you've sort of moved around the back uh, with the remainder of your movements. You are in, in the garden area where there's... Well, it's not much of a garden. There's a load of, like, there's a load of archery targets that are just thudded with axes at the moment. And a bunch of dwarves okay, who are all having a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to gesture to the uh, sort of our axe rain contest to indicate... Yeah. Hi, have a go. I'm like, hey, we've got a new challenger. All right, all right, all right. Get this, get this, well, your mime. Yeah, yeah, strange. We, we get all kinds. Get this mime, get this mime some axes. Costs, uh, costs a gold piece. You got a gold piece? All right, you get a gold piece. You, you, you beat our first challenger. He's a real stand-up guy. You beat our first challenger, you're going to get two gold pieces back. You beat our second challenger, you're going to get four gold pieces back. You beat our third challenger, you're going to get ten gold pieces. All right, and he gestures over at the pirate with two eye patches. She's amazing. You don't stand a chance. But you can probably beat our first one. He's an old, he's an old man. He's an old gentleman. He's been around the block. Welcome, please, Uncle Gianni. And Uncle Gianni is just burping loudly and like, very simple, very standard rules. We do, we do the standard rules, right? You get it, you get it on the edge, one point. Get in the outer bullseye, three points. Get it in the inner bullseye, five points, all right? Best out of three, all right? And of course, you got to down a pint of beer in between each one, all right? There you go, all right! Oh, and while this is happening, um, all right, so I know where the room we hired is. I know roughly where I've probably heard the window crash. Mm -hmm. I've definitely have been hearing Bully Chesterton. <laughs> so I'm just going to point and send a message to Bully over on the front saying, and obviously he's going to hear this in his own voice. He's going to be like, Bully, Bully Pickle Boy. <laughs> Let's talk about why don't, you come, why don't you come down to the back and we can discuss your parents. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> You you hear you hear in the distance, and also ex actually no, you hear in your head because he again hasn't quite realised its message, and he goes, "Bully's not so happy with what he's just heard. I'm gonna go sort this out." And uh, yeah, he's uh, he, he's on his way eventually, but for now, you're being handed a big old pint of beer. Can you please roll me a Constitution save as you drink it? Okay, do I have proficiency in constitution? Almost certainly not. And if you have any any anything that gives you advantage on saves against being poisoned, then uh, you can use that here. Gosh, I should have my spells. Are they not on your character sheet? I completely forgot to write my character sheets and I think I put them in a separate file and I'm not doing very well here. <laughs> That's all right. I don't think I have anything that helps with uh, poisoning anyway, but it's ironic considering how much drinking is involved here. Yeah, I've got nothing anyway. Um, so, I'm just going to roll for constitution, which is probably a... Uh, oh, wait, no, it's a 10. 10, that's not too bad. Oh, that's a 19. Okay, that's really good. You're fine. You chug it down, and you're all you're all good, and you're ready to go. Okay, I will also need an attack roll, please. It's going to be using your strength score because um, it's going to be a thrown weapon. If you have proficiency in hand axes, you can add that proficiency, and that will give you a score. I'm going to also make a note over here. It's going to be mime versus Gianni. Gianni's going to start drinking okay. while you do the throw. Uh, hand axes are simple weapons, aren't they? Uh, yes, they are. Okay, yeah, I'm proficient. Gianni's fine on the drink as well. Which offset? My minus two. Oh, that's 17. 17, very nice. You get three points. You hit the outer bullseye. Gonna make note, you've got three points. Very good. Gianni rolls, and Gianni rolls a 12, which is only one point. Getting the outer rim of the board. 
Uh, second point, please. A second constitution saving throw. Janny's going to do the same. Ooh, Janny's fine again. That's 14. Okay, you're good. You're good. And roll me another attack roll using the same roll as before. Janny's just rolled his, and he gets the inner bullseye this time. That's a nine. A nine, I'm afraid it goes flying off into the dirt. So the score stands at three for the mime and four for Uncle Gianni. Could go anywhere. One last one, constitution saving throw please and then an attack roll. Ooh, Gianni's just passed it and only just passed it. It's an 11. That's an 11, that's exactly what Gianni got. Yeah, you're both passed. And on to the attack roll. Okay. Okay, that's a 10. That is a 10. That's a hit. Okay. Boom. You have a total of four points. Jenny, I'm afraid, has also gotten... Well, Jenny got an 11, but it's the same number of points and makes it five. So Jenny wins, I'm afraid. And he's like, hey, you tried your best. You tried your best. But, uh, you know, I'm a master. I'm a master. And... <laughs> Meanwhile, we'll go back to the combat. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, with the mime done, it's Bully Chesterton's go. And Bully is currently grappled uh, at the moment and cannot. Bully is, bully is grappling. No, no, Bully's grappling. grappling. Oh, Bully's grappling. Yes, that's quite right. Because if he'd hit you, you'd have died. Um, bully is. Uh, Bully's grappling you and. And Bully just heard. heard yeah. Something. You know what? Yeah, Bully's been taunted, and Bully doesn't take getting taunted, lying down, even if he is right now lying down. So he's going to get up, and he's going to head straight for that garden party. You can, of course, take an attack of... Oh, or give an attack of opportunity, Bella, if you'd like. I'm going to attempt to trip him with my quarterstaff. Oh, very nice. Okay. As, as my attack of So that's going to be a shove. Uh which is going to be a contested roll. Um, but you can do that as an attack, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so roll me... That's going to be athletics, and that's going to be... versus, I think, bullies athletics as well. So that is... Uh, 15. Okay, that was an 11. Uh, so, I'm saying that like bully now. So, bullies on the dirt. Uh, straight back down to the ground. Not feeling too happy about this whole situation. But I guess at least he can lash out and attack the, uh, the awful rabbit who ruined, ruined bully's life. So. To be fair, I didn't ruin it. I just put it to an end. Of course, the difference. <laughs> Bully is going to sort this whole thing out because he doesn't like the way uh, when he tries to get up, Bully gets knocked down again. He gets up again. You're never going to keep him down. But uh, really, he, he wants to make sure of this. So Bully is going to look at you very closely until you understand the magnitude of the situation you're in and feel suitably upset. Can you make me a wisdom saving throw, please? A uh, wisdom that is a... Uh, 23. Okay, you are not paralyzed. Uh, which is great. <laughs> I am going to, regardless, look at him in fear. <laughs> <laughs> Bully understands fake. that you have got... Oh, fake fear, is that? Or, or, or yeah, real? Like, I'm, I'm, no, I'm faking the fact that I'm looking at him in fear. Okay, performance check, please. <laughs> at advantage, I think. Because I think Bully would reasonably assume you'd be frightened of him. Oh, hey, that's that. Finally, things are turning around. Performance, you said? Yeah. That is a net 20 minus 1, 19. Oh, well, that's that's fantastic. That, that's, that's plenty, <laughs> and... Uh, Bully's like, that's right, I told you so. Now I'm going to go and sort out uh, whatever that was that happened in my head and made Bully feel a little upset. So uh, Bully's uh, going to try and get back up again. 
Because you, you, knock, you knocked him prone, obviously that's half his... Oh, you used half his movement to get up first. So yeah, that's all his movement. He's down. That'll be his full movement. Yeah, and he can't dash because he's using action. So yeah, that's him done. Uh, over mm -hmm. to... Actually, over to you, Bella. You're lying on the mm -hmm. ground alongside Bully Chesterton. Am I within striking distance of Bully Chesterton? Absolutely. Damn. I mean, prone, I believe you attack with disadvantage. So, mm -hmm. if you wanted to get up and go, Bully would have disadvantage. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll five feet away okay. before getting up. So that five, is going to be an, an attempted attack, and it's going to be a disadvantage, though. Yeah, that's shite. Yeah, you, you're fine. Okay, so I'm going to stand up, begin running in, a, in the other direction, the last ten feet I have. Okay. And I will use my rabbit hop ability. Yes. I roll a d12 and I move that much in that direction. What an ability. The best part is, it's once per turn, but it doesn't take an action. No, no. That's fine. Uh, that is an additional 10 feet. Well, 11 feet, but... Jesus. That's uh, that's not bad, actually. An additional 10 feet, is a, that's a very good roll. Okay, yeah, you, yeah. you, you get and some more I, distance. I'm going to ready a spell as my action. Okay. I, I'm going to ready Sapping Sting. Sapping Sting. Oh. And the, and, and the condition for the activating is him standing up and moving five. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right. Yeah, you, you're getting that ready. All right. Shiny, <coughs> it's up to you. And also, I'm loving the dogs. <laughs> so, uh... Is there a way for me to get down to the ground without taking damage by going out the window? You can try and climb down if you'd like. You could, you could use somebody as surfboard as you go down. I mean, there's nobody from the users that... Oh, wait, no. I've got someone on the roof with you, don't I? Yeah, you, you get two you people do. in the you... room with you. Uh, <laughs> no, only one person, I think. You've got, uh, you've got Billy. The other one's still, uh, downstairs, confused. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's at the moment. Okay, so uh, instead, I will deal with Chaz. Uh, and the you, first Chaz, thing I'll do... You, you've got Billy, not not Chaz. Chaz sorry, is the sorry, one downstairs with Billy. the Chihuahua that's currently pissing. And the first thing I'll do, considering I'm really annoyed now, is I will uh, use my bonus action to do form of thread. Ooh. T tell, me, tell me how Hello. this works. This sounds great. So uh, I am mirroring the my patron so i will now currently look like a flaming pirate nice wait is uh, your patron get... lechuck <laughs> i was going black bit but lechuck will do yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay this sounds uh, great which also means for the next minute i have one d10 plus two extra health at 10 health mm -hmm. which i need to roll that is a so I have 10 extra health uh, and if I attack I can force them to make a wisdom throw and if they fail they're afraid of me until the next turn oh that's disgustingly good okay that sounds great that sounds great do you, no. do you get to attack as well oh yes that's a bonus action <laughs> that's not a bad <laughs> bonus action to have alright okay yeah alright no but I'm built up yeah, it's, it's it's time. That technically is an attack as well. Yeah. So anyway, moving on. N miss. <laughs> miss. Natural one. Oh, yeah. Well, I did actually. What's your spellcasting modifier? Makes it pain. Okay. Never, never mind. I mean, for 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 the benefit of of why I'm asking you, their AC is eight, so. The, <laughs> Also close. <laughs> they have the minimum possible AC. Yeah, I mean the the zombies. They're not they're not difficult creatures mm. to beat in combat. Like if you had trouble with a zombie at level two, I'd be like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I mean, come on. <laughs> like you know, if you got knocked out by two crits in. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'd like to change the, the target of my attack from Bully Chesterton to RDM. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the ethereal plane. 
<laughs> it fits. No, that, that works. Uh, no, sorry, I, I exist only in the astral domain. Um, mm. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for letting us know that. Oh, yeah, I'm and the astral the dreadnought that's level. killing the boomers. <laughs> the ass. I put the ass in astral in the uh, astral domain. Yeah. No, that 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 fits. Uh, okay. So with shiny done, we're <laughs> over to Chaz. Chaz is downstairs with pickles, and he's like, "Pickles, you found him yet?" And pickles sort of goes rough, but like a zombie rough, like rough. And then uh, <laughs> Chaz picks pickles up. Puts Pickles on his shoulder and Pickles immediately cocks a leg and pees into Chaz's mouth. And Chaz's like, ah! ah! I hate you so much, Pickles. Um, and is going to run outside because he's presumably heard bully. <laughs> Who hasn't? Who hasn't, yes. Um, so he's going to be able to see you, Bella, but not reach you, I think. Uh, so I'm going to assume he's used a fair bit of his time and therefore I'm going to say movement getting peed on today so yeah he's not in engagement range but he can see you uh, with that we go to Billy who's in the room of course with shinies and he's going to go in for the old slim slam how's that going oh a 15 this time so that is going to be 6 points of bludgeoning damage I will take that off my attempt, mm. and I will burn my last slot, and of course, hellish rebuke. Oh, lovely. Okay, against yes. Billy. Uh, remember to do a DC throw for me, thing, because that will determine how much damage he's about to take. Uh, yeah, w uh, was it wisdom, or was it... Yeah. Yeah, wisdom, okay. Uh, basically, it's jumping out of the way of the flames that just suddenly burst from it. Oh, uh, 15. Dex and Wisdom would have been the oh. same. They've got the same modifier for it. The round down takes two damage. Two damage. Okay. Because, dear God, what's that roll shit? <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's Billy's go. Um, and uh, over to mine. Thinking, oh. I'm also going to get them. Or is it on my turn? I can hit Oh no, it's only on my turn, okay, never mind. Okay. Uh, yeah, over to the mime. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. You, you've just lost a competition of axe throwing in the middle of a combat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that I technically took six thing. seconds. You've downed three pints and thrown three axes in six seconds. <laughs> and I'm still standing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're given definition of standing. Okay. So I'm going to cast another suggestion. And um, okay, yeah, at Bully again. And this time obviously his words Message. are actually sounding a little slur obviously it's in his voice, but it sounds a little slurred. I can't wait until you actually get the spell suggestion because this is gonna get even more confusing. Um okay, so <laughs> Message, message, message. What what are you saying <laughs> in Bully's voice again? But with a slur? Not with a slur, okay. but slurred. <laughs> God don't <laughs> This is what happens, you drink three pints in six seconds, Jesus. Um, okay, so I'm going to say, so, bully boy, <laughs> so, pickle boy, <laughs> you can't guess which, which one of these I am. <laughs> wow, okay, uh, you do get a message back, and it's, bully is not 100% sure if bully's having a stroke right now. Bully's not even <laughs> sure if that's possible, but bully knows exactly. <laughs> what to do uh yeah uh, anything else by the way before we go over to bully's turn i'm going to suggest you that i want a challenge again okay you'll get that next round i will say uh bully's going to attempt once more to get up uh okay bully can get up and bully can move exactly five feet before the attack goes off would Bully know if you were pet? You know, but Bully thinks you're petrified, so that's okay. No, you rolled away. Bully knows you're not I am, petrified. I am 25 feet away from Bully. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, I'm going to need another wisdom it saving throw then. Matter. Me? Yeah, because this is one of the actions Bully can do against sworn enemies. Um, if he, if, yeah, since you convinced him that you were frightened, but. The moment you moved, Unnatural he knew 20. that it hadn't worked. Unnatural 20, you're fine still. 
Uh, I got plus four on that. And he's going to, well, Bully's tried. Bully's going to go and deal with that voice and is going to walk certainly more than five feet away. He's going to technically walk. Uh, so his full speed would be 15 to get up, leaving 15 plus 30 more for a dash. 45. 45 feet of movement away, although something happens five feet in, of course. Yeah. Uh, so five feet in, I'm going to need Bully to... Oh, shit, I forget what the saving throw is. Give me a moment. I have a feeling it was Constitution. Not least because I, I was, was watching the episode today to try and work out what everyone's names was. I believe it was... Not your fact, names. A Billy and Chaz, specifically, but... Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, that is... What is the Constitution save for the... Okay. That's a 22. I mean, he succeeds. He has plus seven to constitution saving throws. I feel like that was on purpose. No, that's... I've just taken a stat block for what this creature is. Uh, for what Bully is. Uh, they just do. In that case, absolutely nothing happened. No. Um, other than reduce the wisdom, uh, I've not changed anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, Bully's heading towards you uh, around the back of the building, the mime. Uh, has 45 feet of movement left, I'm going to say that's enough to get around the back. So Bully arrives and sees his axe throwing competition and sees you there, uh, getting ready, teeing up with another beer, and is like, Bully has come to take revenge! Everyone, all of the dwarves are like, Ah, oh, come on, can't you see we're drinking here? Come on, come on, I'm, I'm drinking it! You hear like 700, I'm, I'm drinking ears! Um, you know, leave the revenge I, for I'm, tomorrow, I'm going, come on, take I'm the going, cannoli, leave the sword, and stuff like that. Can I, can I do something? Yes. Because I could hear what Bully said, correct? Oh, and I everyone can, foot. yeah. I'm it's possible your other character, over. it's possible Ao has just heard what Bully says. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to shout across the thing and say, it's because he's scared of a bit of competition. <laughs> oh, 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 I love that. Okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to take a check for that. He's absolutely going to go in for this. Like bully can win anything. Bully wins all the time. <laughs> Unless you cheat and try and kill a man with penis-shaped <laughs> pickles, bully can do whatever bully wants. Uh, God, what is this competition? Are we drinking? Are we throwing things? Well, oh, that sounds great. All right, sign me up. And one of the door, one of the doors goes. All right, all right. One, one gold piece. One gold piece. Uh, that's, that's all it takes. The bully's like, I'll have to pay you later. I have no cash. And he's like, uh, the mime just. We don't do that here. <laughs> yeah, the mime just or just being like, can you believe this guy? <laughs> <laughs> like the other dwarves, of course. Th that's their natural language. They're immediately mimicking what you're what you're trying to say. They're like, "Can you believe this guy?" Well, not like that. It's not like Jesus. It's not like what's the deal with airline fruit here? It's uh, can you believe <laughs> this guy? Hey, uh, but actually, the pirate turns up. Well, it doesn't turn up. Walks up and goes, puts a gold piece down. And goes, I want to see this. And Bully goes, "Hooray for Bully!" <laughs> And the, the pirate winces a bit because she's had a bit to drink at this point. She's done like 20 rounds of, com of, of not combat, of competition, so 20, 20 beers. Um, which is like, uh, keep it down, keep it down, will you? Um, but yeah, yeah, you two are going to be in competition, in an axe throwing competition, with Bully Chesterton in the middle of a combat. Uh, <laughs> what a strange thing to have said. Okay, over to Bella. All that's left is the Chihuahua and the guy, yeah, that I can see? Yeah, you can see, yeah, Chaz, Chaz and Pickles the Undead ch Chihuahua. I'm going to look at Chaz, and I'm going to say, has it been a minute since I used, since I cast the jump spell? No, it hasn't. No. Only been a few rounds. Yeah, it would be, te like, when we're on round 11, which might happen at this rate, when we're on round 11, then, then jump will have worn off, but... I'm going to look at him and go, meet me. I'm going to run. I'm going to run to the general store and hop on its roof. <laughs> okay. You do that. Chaz doesn't know exactly what to make of this situation. Um, he's just looking at me like. 
Is the jump an action or is it still movement? It's still movement. Te you know cool. what's really weird about jump? Technically, it costs your movement as well. So if you're if you try to move more than your movement speed, I have no idea what happens because your jump's tripled, right? But your movement speed isn't changed. So technically, it costs your movement still. I just tend to argue that you just go um, I the full jump. Okay, cool. If I still have my action, then I'm going to cast catapult. <laughs> oh, a great spell! I fucking love catapult. And I'm going to catapult a gold coin at Fickles the Chihuahua. <gasps> wow. Hang on while I look up the stat block for Undead Chihuahua. I'm just going to find Dog. <coughs> it's going to be close enough. Okay. Uh, <laughs> didn't expect you to be attacking the Dog. All right. Uh, all it's done is fucking pee on Chaz. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So... It's an attack roll, isn't it? Um, against the Chihuahua. Uh, let's see here. Choose one object weighing from one to five pounds within range that isn't being worn or carried. The object flies in a straight line up to 90 feet in a direction you choose before falling to the ground. Stopping early if it impacts a surface. If the object w would strike a creature, that creature must hit, make a dexterity saving throw. Dex save, all right. On a failed save, the object strikes it tricks the target, and it does 3d8 bludgeoning damage. So, no, this Pickles just rolled a natural 20. <laughs> Pickles the so Undead Chihuahua has backflipped off of Chaz's shoulder. <laughs> Meanwhile, this gold coin just presumably <laughs> just gone straight into Chaz. So I mean, if like you want Chaz to make a 3d8 as well, or a deck saving throw as well, yeah, I'm gonna do that. That is super. So did nice. um, <laughs> that's a free. Pickles just fall back like uh, one of those robotic flipping dogs. <laughs> yeah, basically just like boop, <laughs> just immediately. Perfect reactions. But yeah, Chaz is gonna take that damage because Chaz rolled a free. That is a eighteen damage. Okay, 18 that legend. is a lot. But Chaz is still up. But that's a good hit. That Chaz is now bloodied. Well, the equivalent. They've still got blood. Yeah, they've not been dead long enough. There'll be blood in there. Chaz is bloodied. <laughs> and it's over. I'm, oh. I'm going to yell, you boss baby, that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, over to Shiny. Uh, correct. What I'll do is I'll just take a swing with my club. Nice. Which comes out as a nine, so... That's a hit. Just hits. <laughs> yep. That is all damage, and can I please get a wisdom saving throw? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's not great. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's an eight. They are now front of me. Very nice. I'm going to use the word of feared because it's slightly more pirate. Um. Arr. <laughs> The the, the, the county motto of Dorset is officially who's afeared. Everyone else has Latin. We just have literally come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Um, apparently, <laughs> from our time as all being smugglers. Okay, so that's some good damage, and that's a really good status effect to attach, because while I'm afraid they can't approach you, I believe, and... Uh, they can't come any closer, and... They have disadvantage. Disadvantage. Anything while I'm in front. That's very good then. Uh, okay, excellent. Um, with that, we go to Chaz. Chaz on the ground has just been beasted in the face by a gold piece uh, and is a little bit confused. But you, you sort of, Bella, Bella, Donna, you shouted, you know, your boss may need this, so he's going to shrug, take the coin, um, gesture at Pickles, and head off to the back where we're about to catch up on a, a drinking and axe throwing competition between Bully Chester and a mime. Um, yeah, this went off the rails quick, didn't it? Okay, over to, <laughs> over to Billy. Billy's frightened of you. This is the only normal part of the fight. Billy is frightened <laughs> of Shiny. Um, I, think, I think Billy is still going to attack because they're relatively mindless. 
I was uh, going to say, if, if they're still within attack range, that is fine. They just can't move. Forward. Yeah, they're still in attack range, but it's going to be a disadvantage, of course. Uh, yep. And that's a natural one. In fact, that... Yeah, that's definitely a natural one. Good. Um, sorry, it was cocked initially, but... Or the rolling your extra die. <laughs> Oh, I rolled them both. It was just what happened was I, I rolled the uh, I rolled the the metal one I've got, and I rolled the plastic one, and the the plastic one was underneath the metal one, and it like catapulted it across the desk. So that's why I had to check to see where it'd gone. But yeah, natural one. Uh, so that's fucked. And uh, yeah, that's that's. I think Billy's then going to use his his movement to move away. I think because having failed to attack, that fear is starting to get hold. You're going to move thirty feet towards the door and try and leave. So you get an attack of opportunity if you like. Yeah, that is ten. Oh, that'll hit. So that is only three damage. Okay, three more damage on Billy. Well, that's still good. Um, not quite bloodied yet, though. Okay, that's Billy done. We go to the mime. It's time for your drinking competition with Bully Chesterton. I'm going to have both your goes at the same time, basically, because you are next to each other in the initiative order, so that actually works quite well. So, uh, okay, I'm, I can't believe I'm writing this. Right, drinking competition, mime, bully. <laughs> I am <laughs> going to need a constitution know what you were saving throw. I'm not even I really sure how this. We I'm haven't even gotten happened. to the bit in my notes where it says from here on out I have no idea how this will go, so that's that's not good. 